All right, I wanted to make this quick video to show you where to learn about child support in the state of Utah and how to actually calculate your own. If you look here, this is the website for the Office of Recovery Services. The website address there, if you can see that, is orscsc.dhs.utah.gov. You go to this website here and you click on the link for child support calculator and what you'll find here is there's a specific calculation form on the internet that you need to fill out in order to determine what your child support obligation should be or what you should be receiving and if you'll notice here there's a section that says what is the mother's name and you complete it, it says what is the father's name you complete it now if you don't want to submit the actual name you could put mom and you could put dad in there Question three is, what is the mother's gross income? Now remember, child support is calculated based on gross income, not net income. Gross is the amount you make before taxes, not after. And then father's monthly gross income. It then has a section that says how many natural and adopted children are involved in this child support action. So if you have two kids together, then there's going to be a two in that box. If you have one, it's one. However many kids that are subject to this action. Now, if you have other kids with other uh, fathers or mothers, you don't put those in here. This is just for whoever the parents are of these kids. Number six, what are the amounts of previously ordered child support? That means if there's a previous order where somebody's paying child support to a different parent, you put that amount in section six, okay? Then section seven, what are the amounts of previously ordered alimony? that's paid by either party. Now that may be zero. It's, it really depends on your case. And then number eight, for split custody only. Now remember, split custody means kids are living with different parents. That's like you have two boys, one's living with mom, one's living with dad. So if you have split custody where the children are separated, that's when you would put in those boxes in section eight, how many are with mom, how many are with dad. All right, and then you go to number nine, which is joint custody. How many overnights will the children be with each parent? Remember, you have to have at least 111 overnights in order for it to be a joint custody situation. You put how many overnights are with mom, how many overnights are with dad. Remember, 365 is the max amount. You've got to have every, both amounts equal uh, 365. And then whoever has the most overnights will be the one who is the plaintiff so that for the support action. So here it defaults to mother. You probably see there it has mother in the box, but it could also be father. It depends on who is receiving the money, okay? Number 11, is there a current spouse or adoption, adopted child together with the mother's present home that are not part of this action? If so, enter how many? Again, if that applies to you, number 11, you enter that in. Number 12, does the father and father's current spouse have any natural or adopted children together? So same question as 11, just applying to dad. Now, once this is filled out completely, you click that continue button and it will show you exactly what your child support amount is going to be on the next screen. That is how you calculate child support in the state of Utah. The only way to get away from this, to do a different amount, is to do a deviation and you have to have a good faith, good faith basis for doing so. If you need help with your child support calculation, give our office a call. 801-676-7308. We look forward to helping you with your child support case. Thanks for watching.